working on a new Spring application that needs to talk to another service over HTTP. You could reach for a couple different options here. You could use the REST template, you could use the web client, or you can use Spring Boot 3.2's new REST client. Now the question becomes, how are you going to test this? You can write an integration test that talks to the actual service, but what happens if the service is down or maybe it's not even written yet? You have a few different options here, but I'm gonna show you one today, which is the at rest client test annotation. Hi, my name is Dan Vega. I'm a Spring Developer Advocate at Broadcom, and I make videos about Java, Spring, or anything that interests me. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, do me a favor and subscribe, and let me know in the comments below what you're interested in learning about. So today we're gonna to create a new application. We'll create a simple HTTP call using the new REST client, but I wanna focus on the testing side of things and we'll look at this annotation and take a look at how it helps you write these tests quickly. With that, let's head over to start.spring.io and create a new app. All right, here I am on start.spring.io. I'm gonna say that this is a Java app, a Maven app. I'm using the latest version of Spring Boot, which is 3.2.2. You need to be on at least 3.2 to take advantage of the REST client. Now this will work with the REST template as well. So if you're using that, uh, this test annotation will work. So I'm gonna say dev.danvega, the artifact will be, uh, let's say RC uh, test. Now I will leave a link to a GitHub repository in the description below that contains a bunch of examples around the REST client that I'm doing. I'm just creating a separate uh, example here so that we can focus on this one. So I'm gonna choose Java 21, you can choose Java 17, and the only dependency we'll need is Spring Web. So I'll go ahead and generate that, download that, and I'll open it up in my favorite IDE, IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate, but this will work in any IDE or text editor that you're most productive in. All right, I'm gonna move quickly through this first section. We've done this on this channel before. I wanna get to the testing side of things. So I'm just gonna create a couple classes. One is going to be a post record. This is going to represent a post in our system and integer user ID, ID, string, title, string, body. That looks exactly like what we need. Uh, again, we're using a JSON placeholder service, a public API that we can talk to. So that looks like that'll be exactly what we need. So I'm also gonna create another class. I'm gonna call this the post client and we'll go ahead and mark this with at components so this gets picked up. Uh, we'll do something quickly here. We're going to, I have a IntelliJ Live template that creates a new REST client for me. Uh, I've talked about this in the past. If you wanna find out more about all the things we're doing with the REST client, the GitHub repo has a readme with all the tutorials we're doing around this. But this gives us a REST client. We need to set a base URL. So we'll say base, oops, dot base URL. And yes, we are talking to the JSON placeholder service. So I need a method here that will return a list of posts and we'll call this find all. And then we'll just return the rest client. We'll call get method. The URI on this is going to be slash posts. Uh, we are going to retrieve this and then we'll turn this into a list of posts. And we'll do that using the parameter parameterized type reference. Uh, so no, um, we don't need that. And this looks good. So you could have list of posts here. You can also just uh, omit that if you want to. And that looks like everything we need. Uh, that should be good. So now the question is how do we test this, right? So I wanna write a test for this. I'm going to come up here and say generate and we're gonna generate a test and we'll call this the post client test. And yes, I wanna test this find all method. So how do we do this? We could come in here and say, okay, go ahead and auto wire me in that post client, right? Now I have the post client, I can make a call out to the post client and go ahead and use that. But the problem with that is, is that we're gonna actually be using the actual REST client to call out to the public API. And that may be, just fine, that may be exactly what you're trying to do. In my case, I wanna write a test that doesn't assume that it's available. So maybe it's down, maybe it's not written yet. I wanna just write a test where I'm kind of mocking that out. So what I'm gonna do is start with the at rest client test annotation and pass in the class that I'm testing. I wanna drill into this annotation so we can take a look at it real quick. Um, this is a annotation for spring rest client test that focuses only on beans 
that use the REST template builder or the REST client builder. And if you remember back in my post client, that's how I got an instance of this through the REST client builder. Using this annotation will disable full auto configuration and instead only apply configuration relevant to the rest of the test, i.e. Jackson or JSON auto configuration, any JSON component beans, uh, but not regular component beans. Uh, so that's that's important. But again, um, because we have that REST client builder, uh, we'll be able to to use that here. So here's some good information on that particular one. So now what I want to do is actually let me drill back into that. One of the things that it does is it auto configures a mock REST service server. And this will give us the ability to kind of mock that out. So I'm going to say uh, at AutoWired, and we're going to say mock REST service server. I'm going to call this, actually, let's call this server. And now we have that. One other thing I'm going to go ahead and bring in, and we'll do that in a second. So let's change the name of this. I like to say should find all posts. And now what I need to do is do something like this. I'm going to say, yeah, given when then. So given is, okay, I want to kind of set this up, right? And to give, uh, what basically what we're doing here is we're setting up some data. So I'm going to create two new posts here. We don't need to watch me type this out. This is going to create uh, two posts that we can then go ahead and verify against. Here's where it gets fun. Now we can use this server to make a mock call out to the uh, REST API. So we're going to basically say, hey, when, actually, we don't even do that. So we're going to say server dot expect and we're going to say we want to request to um, the uh, that looks pretty good right uh, so one thing I'm going to need here is an object mapper uh, the object mapper is part of Jackson and it'll just help us kind of turn that um, particular list of posts into some JSON that we can pass to us so this looks pretty good. Let's see, and expect. So these are gonna need to be imported. All right, so we're request. So basically now what we're looking at is the uh, expected URI. Um, so anytime a call is made to this particular URI, we wanna mock that out. And what we're gonna do is respond with uh, a success, so a 200, and we're gonna use the object mapper to write that data. So we're gonna get that JSON back and we can see the media type is application JSON, right? So uh, we're gonna have to uh, catch this exception here. We can throw this. Um, so that's a JSON processing exception. So now we have our given, which is our list of posts. We have our when, hey, when this happens, then I expect this to happen. And all I wanna do here is go ahead and call that. So I'm gonna say, um, my post client, right? I want to find all, and when that happens, we're going to get let back a list of posts. And so now I can say assert equals, and I can say, hey, we should get it back two, right? So that is our test, and let's go ahead and run this and see if that works. And it does, so that passes, so great. So now we have a way to kind of mock that out and go ahead and not have to worry about hitting that live service. Now again, there might be a scenario where you want an integration test to actually hit that service. But in this case, hey, when we call the find all, it's not actually going out to the service, it's going to mock that out. Now I will say um, there's a couple, bit of, a couple differences that, or a couple things that threw me off. One, the expected URI, if you're using something like the REST template, because again, this, this annotation right here supports the REST template and the REST client. When you use the REST template, if you see examples online, that URI is just the URI, so slash posts. Um, when it comes to the REST client, you need the full URI here. So we have the base URL plus the URI. You need to make sure you do that. That threw me off number one. Number two, there is an issue if you try and use a different, well, if you try and use a specific JDK HTTP um, 
client. So what do I mean by that? Uh, we did this in a different, uh, separate video, but you can come in here and say, I want a JDK client HTTP request factory, and this will replace the um, default HTTP client underneath the hood, which is the HTTP URL connection. And we could say, we want to swap that out with this. Um, so if we go ahead and do that and we try to run our test again, Basically, something happens here where it doesn't use the mock server and it goes out and it actually gets all 100. So it's not actually mocking it. It's not using our mock data there. It's actually going out to the service, making that call, and that's why this fails. So just a little bit of a gotcha. I put that in the readme as well in case you switch to the JDK uh, HTTP client because that's something I often do. Uh, there is an issue on GitHub. I think I put that in the release notes as well. So just be on the lookout for that. So we just did one method, but uh, this will work for all of the methods. So we can write tests uh, against all of our methods. You can go in and write a test to find a single one, to create one, to update, delete, etc. cetera. Uh, this will work for all the methods. And I think this is a, a really nice place to start. I know there's uh, conversations around like, when should we mock, when should we not? Again, I'll leave that up to you. This is in the case of, I don't want to make an actual integration test to, to talk to that service. And in that case, this at uh, rest client test annotation is really good. Again, this is a slice test, so it's loading only the bits that are relevant to this test, which is important because if you have a larger application, you don't want to load up the entire application context and run your tests against it. Uh, this ends up being very fast. So I enjoy this one. So, hey. Uh, I thought this was a good little exercise in how to test our REST clients. If you found it useful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always, friends, happy coding.